This is the periodic functions tutorial. A periodic function is a function that has a repeating pattern of outputs, and in algebra we refer to y values of functions as outputs. Here's an example of a periodic function off to the left. Now notice that this function has a repeating pattern of y values. I'll highlight that pattern here in green off to the left. That pattern repeats itself over and over. Here and here and here as it moves through the graph, all the way across. Each time that pattern is repeated, we call that a cycle. A cycle is one complete pattern of a periodic function. So that green highlighted portion is one cycle, and each of these individual cycles after continue on in that periodic function. Now the period of a periodic function is the horizontal length of one cycle of a periodic function. So that's the horizontal distance it takes to complete one cycle of that function. So the period of each of these is down here, like this. You just measure the distance it takes to complete each of those cycles. It's going to be the same for each cycle. Now, another important concept of periodic functions is the amplitude of a function. The amplitude of a periodic function is exactly one half the difference between the minimum and maximum values of a periodic function. So what we want to do is look at that cycle there in green on the left. Let's say that right here is the minimum value, and up top here is the maximum value. The amplitude is one half the difference between the minimum and the maximum values. So I'm going to take the maximum value, which was 3.0, and I'm going to subtract the minimum because we're looking for the difference. And the minimum value was 0 0.5, negative. So we'll subtract that negative 0 0.5 down on the bottom here. The minus a negative becomes a plus, so we have 3 plus 0 0.5, which is 3.5. And we want half the difference, so half of that. Well, half of 3.5 is 1.75. So the amplitude of this particular function is 1.75 units. Let me show you another periodic function. Take a look at this function, and let's go through it and analyze to find the cycle, the period, and the amplitude. Now remember, a cycle is one complete pattern of a periodic function. So, one complete pattern of this function would be this pattern right here. Notice how this wave is going to be repeating all the way through this periodic function. So that would be one cycle right there. And the period for this periodic function is this horizontal length from here to here, in which that cycle completes. So you can see according to this graph that each period of each of these cycles has a value of 2 pi. That's equal to our period. And that's indicated on the x-axis of our graph here. Now let's take a look at the amplitude. Remember that the amplitude is just one half the distance from top to bottom, or the difference between the minimum and maximum values of a periodic function of each of these cycles. So, I can see that the maximum distance is 1 and the minimum is negative 1. So the difference, 1 minus a negative 1, is 2. And we want half of that value. Half of 2 is 1, so the amplitude of this particular function is 1 unit. So these are the basics in periodic functions, and you're going to use these as your functions get a little bit more difficult when you start to deal with sine and cosine and tangent functions and their reciprocals. You want to master these parts first, the cycle, period, and amplitude, and understand how to find them in graphs and what they look like.